this is hello class today we will learn about noise in communication system part two and we will talk about the noise calculations thermal noise calculations and signal to noise ratio snr calculations now we go to the first one thermal noise this type of noise was first measured by the John B. Johnson at the Bell Lab in year 1928. He described his finding to the Harry Nyquist, also at the Bell Lab, who was able to explain the result. And in year 1928, J.B. Johnson had proved that noise power generates is proportional to the temperature and the bandwidth. So we have the formula Pn, okay, proportional to the T, temperature B is the bandwidth. And Pn here is the noise power in Watt. So it's equal to K, a constant, Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23 J K over K. Joule over Kelvin. Okay. T is the temperatures in Kelvins. B is the bandwidth for the spectrum system in Hertz. So the noise power can be, can be modeled use the voltage equivalent circuit Tavernin equivalent circuit or the current equivalent circuit, Norton equivalent circuit. Now we go to the circuit. It can be modified by the voltage source represent the noise of the ideal resistance in a series with the ideal noise free resistor. So first we will have the figure. The first one is the noise source circuit A. So we have Rn, our noise source, is an ideal noise resistor, and it will be equal to a turbulent equivalent circuit. So we have a Vn is our noise voltage source, and our Rn is our noise free. Okay, so this AB they will connect to a load. Okay, this is our R L load. R L resistance of the load. So the noise source will be connected to a system with the input of R L resistance. Therefore, the total noise is Pn. With the concept of the maximum power transfer example, when the Rn is equal to R L, which means the noise source is equal to the resistance at the load, all the power will be transferred to the load. And this is called as impedance matching. So now we have to revise on our circuit theory. Okay, so this is our thermonin equivalent circuit with the load. This is the thermonin equivalent circuit with the load. So here we have the RL system input resistance. And we also have our voltage of the load. So from here, given that Rn, our noise free, is equal to our RL, our system input resistance is equal to R. Okay, so now we are using the voltage divider rules. Okay, the voltage cross the RL, so we have DL is equal to RL, this RL, divided by the RN plus RL, multiplied with VN, V in. Okay, V in here like V in. So we are using voltage divider rules. So here, we know that RN is equal to RL and equals to R. So these three are the same. Okay, so we will have cancel off the R. So we have VN divide by 2 okay now we have the power loads pl 
power is equal to P equals to V square over R. So PL equals to VL square over R. Okay, our VL square now is equal to this. So we substitute equation 1 into this equation PL, equation 2. So we substitute VN divided by 2 into PL bracket square divided by R. Okay, then square it, we will have VN square divided by 4R. From the previous equations of this, the Johnson equations, we have Pn equals to KPB. Okay, so we use this equation Pn equals to PL equals to KTB. So now we equal equation number two with equation number three. So equation two is equal to three. Okay, so Vn square over 4R is equal to KTB. And we rearrange, bring over 4 and the R to the, to the right hand side. And we have Vn square equals to 4KTBR. And then we will move the Vn equals to square roots 4KTBR. Okay, so now we go to the example 1. One operation, operational amplifier with a frequency range of 18 to 20 megahertz has an input resistance 10 kilo ohm. Calculate the noise voltage at the input if the amplifier operate at ambient temperature of 27 degree of Celsius. Okay, from the questions, we know that we have the frequency range is 18 to 20 megahertz. So our lower frequency is FL equals to 18 megahertz. Higher frequency is FH equals to 20 megahertz. Okay. And we have the input resistance of 10 kilo ohm. So input resistance R equals to 10 kilo ohm. Okay. So now we have to calculate the noise voltage, okay? By given the temperature is 27 degree of Celsius. So we have temperature 27 degree of Celsius. And don't forget our Bachmann constant, K equals to 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23 J Joule over K. Okay, now we want to find our noise voltage. So first, we found our bandwidth equals to frequency high minus of frequency low, 20 minus of 18 megahertz. So we have 2 megahertz. Okay, so we substitute into our equation Vn square equal to 4K dBr. Okay, 4K is our constant, Brockman constant, 1 0.38 times 10 power of negative 23 is our K. Temperature in Kelvin, so we have 273 plus with 27 degree of Celsius to change to Kelvin. Okay. Then we multiply with our bandwidth. Okay. 2 megahertz multiply with 2 times 10 power of 10 power of 6, okay, then we have the last one is our R is 10 kilo ohm, so we have 10 power of 4, okay, then we multiply it, we have, we have multiply it and we square root it, we have 18 mu voltage. So this is our noise voltage. Okay, now we go to the next part. How to determine the noise level in a communication system? Okay, noise effects can be determined by measuring the signal to noise ratio SNR for analog system. 
relative the measure of power to the noise public to the noise power probability of the error or bit error rates we have ber for a digital system okay second to determine the quality of resistive signal at the receiver or antenna we have to use SNR I is used. So SNR O, the output, is always less than the SNR I input okay. due to the fact that the exiting of the noise in the receiver itself. Another parameter can be used is noise figure NF or noise temperature and T E okay nice temperature okay now we go to our formula so SNR is a ratio signal power S to the noise power N okay so we have SNR equals to 10 log S signal power divided by N noise power in unit of dB Noise ratio NR is equal to noise factor. So it's F. So NR is equal to SI divided by NI and then divide SR output divided by NR O output. Okay. For noise figure NF, when the noise factors Okay, is expressed into dB. So we known as noise figure. And F is equal to 10 log NR. So 10 log of NR is SI divided by NI divided SR divided by NR okay, in dB unit. Okay. Now we go to the noise calculation in amplifier. To simplify the analysis of two, two types of noise model are used. So we have the amplifier with noise and also amplifier without noise. Okay, the first one is amplifier with noise. So we can see from the figure here, we have NI, the noise input into the amplifier and the amplifier itself have the gain and inside have its on noise so this one is a noise of amplifier n a okay then we have the output is a noise using output n o so to calculate the amplifier with noise we will use this formula n output equals to gain g multiplied with our n input i n i plus with our n a our amplifier noise itself okay so here we go to the b is the tap 2 amplifier without noise okay amplifier without noise we have to consider the n i is the noise input as well as a artificial noise source from the outside okay input noise and also artificial noise source and ai okay both noise will enter to the the amplifier and will an amplifier is i have the gain and then the output is an o the noise output so for here we have the formula n out the output noise equal to our gain multiply with the ni okay noise input noise plus with our artificial noise source nai bracket okay so from here where the nai this nai actually is equal to na divided by g okay and we also have to recall our formula the Johnson formula Pn is equal to our power noise is equal to our 
the input noise and I equals to K T. The T temperature is during input multiplied with the bandwidth. Okay. Analysis the amplifier with noise. Okay, we will go in detail. Okay, this is the amplifier with noise. So we will have S, I, our signal input and our input noise and I enter with our amplifier and this amplifier is with noise. So we have gain and NA, the noise of amplifier. Then the output we have, have our signal output SO and our NO is our noise output. Okay, for the first one, we have S not equals to G SI. Okay, so our output signal is equal our gain multiplied with our input signal. Okay, so N not and output will be equal to G N input plus with your N amplifier noise amplifier so here we know that our uh, we have to multiply it with our g to have a same so when multiply with g and i so the right hand side here we have to divide by g in order to cancel off here so we will get back n a so n a divided by g okay so here we have g and i and we recall back our Na divided by G actually is Nai. Okay, done for this one. Now we go to number two. Okay, number two, we know that S and R I input divided by S and R output will be have the signal input divided by noise input divided by the gain multiplied with the signal input and again multiply by the noise input plus with the noise ai okay so we are taking this one okay actually is the formula s i divided by n i and divided by s not divided by n not okay this s not we substitute with g S I and this N not we substitute with G N I plus N A I. Okay. Okay. With the assumption that our S N R output is smaller than our S N R input. Okay. So to simplify this this equation, we have n i plus v n a i divided by n i after simplify okay so we have this equation and we know that this s n r i input divided by s n r output actually is our noise ratio okay so by simplify these equations okay this one can cancel off this one we will get one okay and the another side we have plus v N A I divided by N I. Okay, so this one is our noise ratio. And we know that our noise ratio actually is same with our noise factor F. So the F also will have the same formula with N R. So it's equal to 1 plus N A I divided by N I. Okay, now we go to step number 3. We have N I equals to K T I B. And when we for the NAI for the uh, artificial uh, this one, artificial noise source NAI, we will have K T E B, and this one is the temperature for the uh, T E uh, is the noise temperature. Okay, so we will have the formula F equals to one. Plus, okay, this one is our NAI, so we substitute with K, T, E, B, and NI, we substitute with K, T, I, B. Okay, so now we can cancel off this B and the K. So we will have a noise factor in another formula. F equals to 1 
plus TE divided by T in. And done for this one. For our noise temperature, we will have, to find our noise temperature, we have TE equals to F minus 1 multiplied with our T in, our temperature input. Okay, so you must remember all these three formula. Okay, for the noise temperature, noise factor, okay, our noise ratio, as well as our uh, signal output and our noise output. Okay, this field formula you must be remember. Okay, now we go to our analysis of temperature without noise. Okay, a model of a temperature without noise, we have the signal input SI. Okay, and we have a NI noise input. Okay, plus with a NAI, this one noise artificial okay, source. Okay, enter the gain. Okay, our amplifier with a gain G and the output is a signal output and the noise output. Okay, for the first formula, we have to see on our, find our gain. So, S0 is equal to gain G multiplied with SI, signal input. Okay, for the noise output, it will equal to our gain. Okay, multiply with our NI plus with our NAI. Okay. <coughs> so, now you must have an assumption for our SNR output is smaller than our SNR input. Okay. So, we take SNR input divided by SNR output. So, we have SI input, signal input divided by noise NI noise output. Input divided by our S not signal output divided with our uh, okay divided with our noise output okay so here noise uh, signal output is G multiplied with SI, so substitute inside, okay? Then for noise output, we have gain multiplied with the NI plus NAI, so we substitute inside, okay? After that, we simplify it. After we simplify it, we will get NI plus with NAI divided by NI, okay? So we have a Noise ratio is the SNR I divided by SNR output, so we will get noise ratio. So it will be equal to 1 plus NAI divided by NI. And for our uh, noise factor, F will be equal to 1 plus NAI divided by NI. And this one is equal to our noise ratio as well. Okay. Then we go to step number three. Okay, we also use the Johnson formula. Okay, so we have a noise input is equal to KTB. T here is the temperature input. And NAI for the uh, artificial in, noise artificial inputs equal to K. T E is the noise temperature. And B is our uh, bandwidth. Okay, so... We substitute these two into the equation of F. Okay, so F equals to 1 plus KT error. Uh, this one is the noise temperature B divided by K temperature A input B. So this K can be cancelled off, B can be cancelled off. We will obtain the noise factor in another form is F equals to 1 plus Te noise temperature divided by Ti uh, input temperatures. Okay, done.
So for noise temperature, rearrange the equation. We will have noise temperature Te. Okay, noise temperature equal to our F minus 1 multiplied with our temperature input. Okay, done for this one. Okay, same for this. You have to memorize step 1, 2, 3 formula. Okay, now we go to example 2. Noise generates in the amplifier of 5 megahertz bandwidth is represented by a amplifier input noise power of 0 0.082 picofarad calculate the noise factor and the noise figure if the amplifier was fit with the a the source input is matched with temperature 300 kelvin k and b when the source input is matched with the 100 temperature Okay, now we go to the A first, question A. Okay, first we draw our uh, amplifier. Okay, now we have amplifier. Okay, and we know that we have the input power of noise. Uh, input power of noise, this one is NE equals to 0 0.082 PW. Okay, then we have a Amplifier frequency of 5 megahertz, and we are draw our noise input and our noise output as well. Okay, and inside here we have our gain. Okay, okay, now we start the calculation. Step A for the questions A step number one noise power from the source input. So from the source input, okay, and I. Okay, is equal to K T I B. So our K Bosman formula uh, Bosman constant we have 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23 multiplied with our okay, input signal temperature here 300 K okay, 300 K and plus with our okay, bandwidth is 5 megahertz. Okay, 5 times 10 power of 6. Okay, calculate, we will have 0 0.021 picofarads. Okay. Now we go to step number 2. Calculate the noise ratio or equal to the noise factors. So we will use the formula Ni plus with Ne divided by Ni. So Ni we have 0 0.021 plus with 0 0.082 is our Ne. Okay, and then divide by 0 0.021. So we have 0 0.103 divided by 0 0.021. We have 49, which is our noise ratio. NR, or our, this one is our NR symbol, noise ratio, or our noise factor F. Okay, done for the noise factor. Then we want to calculate our noise figure. Okay, noise figure is equal to 10 log our noise factor. So 10 log 4.9 is equal to 6.9 dB. Okay, done for A. Now we continue with B. Okay, B, same, we draw the figure. Okay, and I, okay, and E is 0. 0 at 2 picofarad and n naught and we have a bandwidth okay so our bandwidth is 5 times 10 power of 6 okay so first step noise power from the source okay and i is equal to k t i b okay so for this question number B, the Ti is 100 Kelvin from the question previously. Okay, from these questions previously. Okay, now we start to do. Okay, 
first k is 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23 is our Boltzmann's constant times our temperatures 100 Kelvin and times with our bandwidth 5 times 10 power of 6. Okay, we have 0 0.007 pico watt. Okay, done. Then we go to the next step, noise factors. Ni plus with Ne divided by Ni. So we have 0 0.007 plus with 0 0.082 divided by 0 0.007. So we have 0 0.1. 0, 03 divided by 0 0.007 equal to 12.7. Okay, it's our noise factor F. Okay, this one also can be our noise ratio. Okay, then we calculate our noise figure is equal to 10 power, eh, sorry, is equal to 10 log 12.7. We have 11.4. 11.04 11 dB. Okay, done. Okay, so from here, we found out that we by comparing the A and the B, okay, by comparing the A, A is 6.9 dB, and at the room temperature, this 300 is the room temperatures, and the B is at 11.4. So we can find out that the noise factors and the noise figure will be less when they are operating in room temperature at 300 Kelvin or 27 degree of Celsius compared to this 100 Kelvin. Okay. Okay. Example number three. This example is an antenna is connected to an amplifier with the noise temperature of TE equals to 125 Kelvin. And the gain is 10 power of 8. Given the bandwidth 10 megahertz, the output of noise, output of receiver noise is NO is 10 microwatt determine the antenna temperature ti and the noise figure nf of the receiver first step we have to calculate the n naught okay is we want to find the temperature of the antenna first so we have to use the formula N naught equals to Ni plus Ne bracket multiplied with our G. Okay, <clears throat> so we know our Ni is equals to KT IB plus with KTEB multiplied with our gain. So now we factor our KB and Ti plus with TE multiplied with our gain. So we substitute our N naught is 10 microfar uh micro uh, watts okay and then our k is 1.38 times 10 power of negative 23 okay our temperature okay then our b b is our bandwidth is 10 megahertz so it's 10 times 10 power of 6 okay then we have our temperature ti okay we don't know okay we want to find okay then plus with our te te is given 125 kelvin so plus with 125 and multiply with our gain so our gain here is 10 power of 8 okay so after we calculate and we arrange we find out our ti is 600 Kelvin. <clears throat> then we find our noise factor or noise figure. To find our noise figure, we need to find our noise factor. Then we only can convert it into dB, noise figure. So noise factor is equal to 1 plus TE divided by TI. So equal 1 plus 125 
Kelvin of our T and divide with our T I just found just now this one okay then divide by 600 we will have 1.2 noise factor or we can using another formula our nr is equal to our noise factor f also is equal to our ni plus with our ne divided by our ni okay so we will have and I, okay, you can use the formula. And I is the KTB, okay, you substitute the value of the K, the I, and the B, and then we have uh, NE, okay, you substitute inside the NE value, okay, also calculate the KTB and then divide by our NI, so we have. 10 at 100 divided by 82.8 so we also get 1.2 okay then after that we only substitute into 10 our noise figure and f 10 log 1.2 so we have 0 0.79 db okay done okay for question example 3 Okay, now we go to the noise in cascade of amplifications. So for this one, we have the signal inputs and then go to the first amplifier, the A1, okay, with a noise ratio 1, then cascade with the A2 with noise ratio 2 and R2 and cascade with the A3 amplifier 3 with and R3, noise ratio 3. Then we go to the output. Okay. The formula used to calculate the overall noise performance of this receiver or multiple stage of RF amplification, we are called freeze formula. Okay. So this is the formula. So the noise nr noise ratio is equal to nr1 okay plus we we take the nr2 2 minus 1 divided by a1 okay and r3 minus 1 divided by a1 multiply a2 until the nr n minus 1 so depend on how many number of n you have so a1 multiply with A2 until the N number minus 1. Okay. So we know that this NR is a noise ratio. NR1 is the input of the first amplifier to receive the signal. Okay. NR2 is the noise ratio of second amplifier. NR3 is the noise ratio of the third amplifier. And so on. Okay. Until a NR and number okay a1 is the power gain of the first amplifier a2 is the power gain of the second amplifier a3 is the power gain of the third amplifier and so and so on until the a n number the amplifier number the last one note that the noise ratio is used rather than the noise figure the gains are given in a power ratio rather than in decibel so this note is very important okay now we go to the example consider the circuit shows in figure below calculate the overall noise ratio nr and the overall noise figure nf for the combinations okay now we see the noise cascade in the stage of amplific amplifications so we have the signal input here okay and r1 okay is 1.6 and r2 is 4 and r3 is 8.5 okay a1 is 7 a2 is 12 a3 is 10 okay so we want to find the nr okay now the answer is given nr is 2.12 and nf is 3.26 db and you have to calculate. Okay. 
okay, to prove this answer. How? Okay, first step, overall noise ratio. So NR is equals to the formula, okay? We start with NR1, okay, 1.6 plus weight our 4 minus 1 is our NR2, okay, minus 1 divided by our A1, okay. Then we have here is our NR3, okay, this one is A1, okay. NR3 minus 1 and then multiply with our A1, and divide with our A1, multiply with our A2, okay. Until like this. And we will get... 1.6 plus with 0 0.4286 plus with 0 0.0893. So, we sum up, we will have 2.12. This one is our noise ratio. Okay? Okay. Then, noise figure is an F10 log NR. Okay, 10 log 2.12, so we get 10 times 0 0.326, so we have 3.26 in dB. Okay, done for these questions. Okay, thank you. Remember to subscribe my channel, okay, like and share. Bye, I hope this lecture will help you. Thank you.